Well, one of my favourite objects has to be the wooden bucket, the remains of the wooden bucket, because it reminds me of, first of all, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, the Disney cartoon, where Mickey tries to, well, ta casts a spell to help him with his tasks. He had to wash the floor, basically, and he had a bucket and he had a broom. So he was, he, he got the bucket and he started splashing, splashing the water onto the floor and using the broom. And it got very tedious, the floor was quite big. Um, so he decided to look in the sorcerer's book to find, um, to find a spell which would help him. And he found what he thought was the right spell, cast the spell, and of course it went wrong because it ended up with hundreds of brooms, hundreds of buckets, all splashing water onto the floor. The sorcerer came home, saw immediately what had happened, cast another spell at which everything disappeared apart from the original bucket uh, and Mickey got into a lot of trouble. But he was using a bucket very similar to the one downstairs in the wooden underworld. It's intriguing as to what the bucket was used for. Was it used for getting water out of the well? And it also reminded me of when we were staying in a gîte in France several years ago. It's an old well incorporated into the house. The bucket in the well was almost identical to the one downstairs. It had wooden staves. Of course the difference was that the one downstairs hasn't got anything uh, holding the staves together and it hasn't got a handle, but I imagine it was almost exactly the same as the one in France which would have a wooden rope around the top to keep the staves in place and also a, wooden, um, a rope handle.